So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurabh Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about the fault injection module. Its order code is 2236220.1.2n. So in this video we are going to discuss about its working. So let's start with the uh, components discussion of uh, fault injection module. So you can see a power LED has been given here over here for the indication of supply on or off. A microcontroller has been fitted inside. It is given a port for the PC interface. Okay, you can uh, we are having the module which we can fit over here. And uh, group there are four groups: group one, group two, group three, and group four. Each group is having three relay set. Group one is having relay first, second, and third. Group second uh, having relay four, five, and six. Group third having relay seven, eight, and nine. And group four relay ten, eleven, and twelve. Two ports of the uh, two ports relay and rail B have been already shot with each of the relays. Like relay has been shot with relay one, four, seven, and ten, and uh, rail B is being shot with the relay three, six, nine, and twelve. So this is all about the uh, components of the port injection module. Now we will start with the connection part. So now we will start with the connection of port injection module. So as you can see, I have fitted the uh, module module in this interface. Okay, and connected a USB cable with a CPU. This is a uh, breadboard connections in which there are three LEDs. Okay, across which one kilo ohm uh, registers has been fitted. Now we will start the connections with the port injection module. So firstly, we will have to connect a patch port with this power supply. Okay. And this uh, patch port cable will be uh, fitted in this port, DUT zero port. Now next, for the first LED, I have to put this cable across this register, okay, and fit in this relay port, just just like this. Next, second LED with this relay two, this relay two port. Always check the connection. The connection should be proper. Okay, and the last patch port from this resistance to this rail B port. So now here we have connected all the connections. So now we will uh, check it with the software. Okay, so uh, as I have already uh, shown you that there are four groups. Okay, group one, group two, group three, group group four. As I have connected all the connections in group one of relay one, two, and three. So on clicking on this uh, relay one, the uh, first LED will blink. Okay, like this. On clicking on relay two, the second LED will blink, like this. And on clicking on relay three, the third LED will blink. Okay. Now if I uh, uncheck the relay two, uh, this relay three and this uh, like this connections. Okay, so on clicking on uh, each relay, the LED will blink accordingly. So now we will work on the software part of fault injection module. So first of all, go to your file folder, then click on local disk key, then in the users section. Where have you, where have been you uh, you have like stored your uh, that fault injection app? I have stored in the, this folder. Click on Dell and this this uh, application you have to install. This is fault injection application. So you have to just double click on this. So a screen like this will appear in front of you, okay. So you can see I have already made the connections of uh, USB and uh, uh, the connect connecting cable with the fault injection module. So in this, uh, you have to fill this all these sections like whichever serial port you have chosen from your CPU. I have chosen the COM13. Maybe you are having COM1 or COM2 or anything else. Uh, then you have to select. For the baud rate, it's since its uh, system's baud rate is nine six double zero, bit size should be eight, parity should be n, stop bits I have taken two, and uh, relay ID 
it should be one because we are working on that and submit it okay so it has been saved you can remove this now since all LEDs has been done uh, connected so now I'll uh, take you to the hardware and then we have to check uh, uh, this is uh, since I have already shown in the fault injection kit module that there are four uh, groups or uh, group one in which there is having uh, relay one two three then group two relay four five six group three relay seven eight nine and group four relay ten eleven twelve so accordingly we are uh, giving it that uh, giving it the connections and then we have to uh, click on this for getting out the outputs so let's move on to the hardware part and then I'll uh, step by step may uh, make it done that uh, how on changing the groups and on checking out the, these relay the LED will get blink so let's start so here we have ended up the software part and uh, uh, side by side I'll make you sure So this is the complete demonstration from my side. If you have any query, you can visit to the Tesla Global website. For more information about this product, you can refer to the manual. And information about the rest of our products is given in the links, given in the description. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share and subscribe to our channel.